Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be using synthetic division to divide these given polynomials. Once again this is a special case because we are dividing by a trinomial. And also I want to make sure that in this case the divisor has a leading coefficient other than one as you can see over here. Before we perform a synthetic division, I want you to look at this long division that I did for you. Just pause the video and see how I did this one. In step one, we want to make sure that our divisor has a leading coefficient equal to 1. But over here this is 3. How we can make it 1? By just dividing this one by 3. If we divide it by 3 we're going to divide over 3 over here as well and 3 over here as well. So this simply is going to become 3 over 3 is simply 1. So this is going to become x squared minus 2x and this is plus 1 over 3. So thus our this problem is going to look like this one as you can see over here. One more thing I want to make sure do not divide this dividend by 3 at this point. If we do this thing that's going to make things real real messy. We will take care of it later on as I will show you. In this step we're going to perform our synthetic division. So as I can see, as you can see we have already put down the coefficients of the dividend right up here. 6, negative 9, negative 19, 36 and negative 9. And now I want you to focus on the divisor. Look at this part. This is what? Positive 1 over 3. The opposite sign of positive 1 over 3 is going to be what? Negative 1 over 3. I want you to put down negative 1 over 3 right up here in the top box. And I want you to look at the coefficient of x which is what? Negative 2. The opposite sign of this is going to be positive 2. So this is going to go in the second box as you can see. So now let's go ahead and get started with our synthetic division. The 6 is going to stay as it is. So 6 is going to be right here. And this negative 9 is going to be right up here negative 9. Now we're going to perform our synthetic division. I want you to multiply this 2 times 6. That's going to give you what? 12. Put the 12 in the same box. So I'm going to put down 12 right up here. And I want you to multiply negative 1 over 3 with this 6. So negative 1 over 3 times 6 is what? Negative 2. Now I want you to take care of these ones over here, that's going to be how much? That's going to give you negative 9 and 12 is going to give you 3. And over here negative 19 and negative 2 is going to give you negative 21. So let's go ahead and start this process all over again with 2 multiplying by 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So 6 is going to go in this same box. 6 and likewise negative 1 over 3 times 3 is going to be negative 1. I want you to put down negative 1 over here. Negative 21 and 6 is going to give you negative 15 and 35 my 36 minus 1 is going to give you 35. Once again I want you to multiply this 2 times negative 15 is going to be negative 30. Okay? And likewise this negative 1 third times negative 15 is going to give you positive 5. 
So let's simplify 35 and 30 is going to give you 5 right up here and that's going to give you negative 4 over here. I want you to bring down this negative 4 as it is. So that means this 5 and negative 4 is going to be our remainder and on this side this is going to be x square part this is x and this negative 15 is going to be without x which we call it constant so what really we got it so far is what 6x square plus 3x minus 15 with the remainder is it's going to be how much so this 5 is going to be with x and negative 4 is going to be without x so that is going to be simply become what 5x minus 4 is going to be your remainder before we get started finish it off this one over here since we divided the divisor by 3 now we're going to divide this part by 3 as I talked to you last time okay in the previous step so that's going to make what 2x square plus 1x minus 5 with the remainder is going to be 5x minus 4 and that is your complete answer we can also write this one as it is we can write 2x square plus x minus 5 plus 5x minus 4 divided by 3x square minus 6x plus 1. Both our answers are simply all right. This could be written as this one, whichever way you like it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.